Hello everybody, welcome to Resident Evil 4. This is a game me and Cole played through years, a year, like a year ago. Uh, yeah, we played it in 2005, okay. Alright, go ahead and start. Oh, okay. Resident yeah, we played this game like a couple years, was it a year ago or a couple years ago? I think it was a couple years ago. I have played this game many different years. Well, I'm saying like when we first tried to play through it. There was going to be no subtitles. So, 1998. Yeah, this is gonna be <laughs> heavily story. Oh man, this is the only subtitles you get. The whole game. So this is talking about Resident Evil 2. Okay, so four is the uh, sequel to two. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like, sure, three wasn't yeah, the sequel sure. to two. Was it? It was happening like around the same time. Oh, okay. The President of the United States ordered a There's a lot of stuff about this game that I learned today uh, from looking up like articles and stuff like that. That would be great to talk about. That you're gonna enjoy. And I have one I'm gonna go ahead and talk about right off the bat. If you're okay with that. I guess. Finished. Okay, so notepad. So. Oh yeah, there's subtitles. There's no subtitles. There was subtitles. There was. There was. Six years. Six years. Oh, I didn't say that part. He's not going by the script. <laughs> Come on, Leon. I received special training. Where's the script, Leon? Where's the script? You don't need no script. I was to assume oh yeah, you didn't fix the, the size of the screen. Family. Oh yeah, you know, the size. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, ah, uh, really? Yeah. That's not. What the freak? Full screen, is it? I don't know. Seems oh, like it. We'll fix it when it goes along. Yeah. Way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this <coughs> is. Did you just break the fourth My wall, Leon? No. No, so he was talking. He's talking to him. Okay. Yeah. Didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy, <coughs> crazy this is six years after the stuff in two. Resident Evil 2, like all that stuff in Raccoon City. You silly American Leon. Leon and Stephanie. I still want Leon and Smash. I don't care. I know it's not going to happen, but Leon would be the most, the best. A Resident Evil like representative in Smash. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think about it, we got we got fucking Snake. Uh, we could get Jill Leon. Valentine and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's the and there was Chris Redfield world. and Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah. Exactly. Those were cool. About a of a girl that looks very like exactly. Anyway, so what I was going to talk about earlier. Resident guy Evil guy creator Shinji Mikama said if Resident Evil 4 was ported to the PS2 would be the day he cuts his head off with a chainsaw. What? <laughs> yeah, he hated Sony at the time. Because like I guess like back in like Resident Evil 2 and 3 and stuff like that, they might have ripped him off or something like that. Mm. He was just pissed at Sony. He was so pissed at them. Well, he ended up, in, since he, uh, he's then, like, lightened up on Sony, you know, he's created all the other Resident Evils and put them on PlayStation consoles, of course. Lately. They're not looking so hot, but in the Six. olden days, in the golden years, in the golden age. Even, the Six was, a ba was the like, only bad one I could think of. golden. Six is the only bad one I can think of. <clears throat> you don't. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna say that seven is a bad game. It's just. I just don't like that it's a Resident Evil game. I mean, that's fair. Because it doesn't make sense. It's like. So I, I mean, the the story of Resident Evil has been getting crazy like since four. <laughs> but. Just after five, 
was when it started getting actually bad crazy. Jeez. Well, okay, so I thought that Resident Evil 7 was, like, the prequel to everything. It's actually not. <laughs> it is the, like, latest in the... Hey, subtitles. <laughs> it's, like, the latest in the, uh, like, it takes place the latest, you know? Like, it's the... Because, like, at the end of the game, Chris comes out and picks up your character. Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kill me. So, yeah. But that's getting the plot line ready for the next two first person Resident Evil games. Which I'm pretty sure they're going to do two more first person ones. Like, I'm more than positive. Because they do three with a different camera angle and two spin offs, you know? Um, anyway. Like I was saying. Right. So, uh, Makama, the creator of Resident Evil, since he was pissed off at Sony at the time, he went to uh, X. He There's went to Microsoft. Out there. He went to Microsoft because he knew that they were the rivals. You know, he was like, "I'm gonna give them the game and they tell Sony that they can't have it." Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Nerds. Um, but uh, what happened was. Well, let's just say, at first, before it, Resident Evil 4 was originally ported to uh, Xbox consoles, like Xbox One, because it wasn't on Xbox 360, but Microsoft screwed up getting Resident Evil 4. <laughs> like, completely How? screwed it up. And I'm about to explain that. Okay. Uh, Mikamba went in for an this interview. This is on Steam now. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Mikamba went in for an Sorry. interview, uh, and he said... If I ported Resident Evil 4 to the Xbox, what would that? What would your company bring to the table? Microsoft said oh, okay. nothing, just complete silence. <laughs> like the translators, like. I, 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 I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this. And uh, and they're an American company. That's why. Makama then gave Microsoft the benefit of the doubt and said, "If you can't answer that, then answer this one simple question: What is your philosophy?" <laughs> as a game company or what's your philosophy as a company when making games and Ken of course Microsoft didn't have an answer for it the column was so pissed that he just up and left got on the train went straight to Nintendo of America headquarters and put Resident Evil 4 on GameCube and the translator is the main reason that Microsoft messed up because he couldn't translate it back to them <laughs> even though he was the translator yeah. well like like okay so I watched uh -oh. Yeah. My friend. I watched like a news article about it. Like like um Fact Fiend with Carl Smallwood. Really good channel. Check it out. Um but like he, he does he has like this uh website where he okay? like puts facts down on the internet, you know, like no weird facts that you, you have to just really look up to find, you know? Get out of there and and the he's very entertaining along with it. He's usually drunk. But Understood. it's very entertaining. That's where I got this from. Well, like he said in his video, uh, the Xbox, like the original Xbox, the Xbox 360, like it would have been so great to have like Resident Evil on those consoles. Because like when I played Tony Hawk's Underground 2 or Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, you can listen to whatever music you put on your console. Like if I could open up the disc, this yeah. is my modded, I have my modded Xbox here. I have another one at home. Uh, that I have the entire Persona 4 <laughs> soundtrack on it. Like, you can put the soundtrack to video games. You can play Halo, too, with just music playing in the background, you know? That's on the Xbox 360, you can do it there. <sighs> but, like, you can listen to your own personal, like, music while you play the games. That's true. It's so cool. Imagine playing Resident Evil and just having Offspring play in the background. It's pretty cool. Also, Crazy Taxi's main theme is a song by Offspring. Oh, what? Uh, are you using the analog stick? I mean... <laughs> Last I time think... we played this, you used the D-pad. Yeah. It felt more natural to use what you said. It is. It's just... The freaking... Um... You freaking um what? Um, what? 
Yeah, it's but like this... I only got eight directions of that. But, uh, yeah, Resident Evil. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, Shinji Mikama, the creator of Resident Evil, he basically just said, really not just Sony, just if he, if he, this game was ported to any other console, he would cut his head off with a chainsaw. What? Sure enough. PS2, X, uh, Xbox One, GameCube, Wii, uh, it's such Steam, a good game, though. Uh, PS3, PS4, PS4, or Pro, basically, or something like that, PS Vita, I believe. Like, it's been, this is one of the most ported and one of the best games in the entire world. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and end this episode. See you guys next time. Yeah. Why yeah. Not? Oh, yeah.